Hi. In this Beagle Bite, I'll be introducing the subject of REDS, Relative Energy Deficiencies in Sport. Beagle's head coach Paul has introduced the subject of nutrition for well-being and performance in his Beagle Bite of 11th of March. So do have a watch and a read if you've not seen it, as the two subjects complement each other. In this short video, I'll be covering what REDS is, what are some of the signs and symptoms, the consequences and risks, and what you can do as an athlete to avoid it, as well as what you can do as a parent or guardian to help your beagle for their future in sport and general longer term health. REDS is a relatively new term, evolving from the female athlete triad that's been around for some 25 years. The female athlete triad is the interrelationship between energy availability, menstrual function, and bone mineral density. It is now an inclusive and more scientific based understanding that it can affect both females and males, including elite and non-elite athletes across all ages. REDS is a condition of low energy availability for normal body functions after exercise and training. It is about not fueling adequately, either intentionally or unintentionally. So what does that actually mean? To repair, grow and have an efficient immune system to fight off illnesses such as coughs and colds, our bodies need energy for their cellular processes. The developing athlete uses a greater volume of protein, calcium and fat to maintain health. As a child grows and experiences puberty, the demands for energy increase. Schoolwork also places demand on our energy systems. Our bodies use the same energy sources and calories from the food we eat to enable us to perform in training. If we use up our energy in training and deplete our reserves, we can become energy deficient. This can have an adverse effect on our bodily systems and it can affect our performance both on the track, school and work activities and our long-term health. What are the signs and symptoms? Some of the early simple signs and symptoms can be the ongoing stubborn sniffles, a recurring cold, or the chronic cough that will not go. Frequent niggles and injuries are another early sign of REDS, often shown initially as fatigue beyond the normal tiredness after training. Female athletes of all ages can suffer from changes in menstruation with REDS. Research those menstrual dysfunction in up to 65% of elite long distance runners. The absence, altered frequency or delayed onset during puberty are not to be considered normal or accepted as consequences of a training athlete. These should be discussed with your parent or guardian and your coach. There can be other causes for such menstruation changes, including an inherited gene. If there are sustained changes for more than a couple of months, or the absence of a period in a 15 or 16 year old where all other signs of puberty are present, the recommendation is to seek medical advice. Both male and female athletes can develop body image concerns at any time in their lives, revealing sports attire, Competitive thinness and wanting to conform with social ideals for athletes can add psychological pressures. This might result in mild dieting to try and trim or improve their tone and image. Dieting can result in less fuel for the body, leading to a worsening performance, though the athlete falsely attributes the lack of performance to being overweight. This can be the start of a disordered eating regime which, and if left unchecked, can develop into a clinical eating disorder. It is recognised in the research that athletes are at significantly increased risk for eating disorders. Longer term risks of REDS can include lone bone mineral density with osteopenia and osteoporosis. 90% of peak bone mass is achieved by the age of 18 in females. Adolescence is a crucial period for building bone density for life. Early intervention with the right advice is important. What can you do? As an athlete, nutrition is essential to help prevent REDS occurring. Bring some food to training or competitions so you can refuel immediately after the session or event is an easy self-help action. 
If you're increasing your training or going through puberty, think about increasing your food intake. If you believe you need to lose weight to aid your performance, talk to your coach. Do not consider dieting without guidance and discussion. If you experience recurrent illnesses or injuries or your menstruation cycle is affected, please do speak to your coach again. We can help steer you in the right direction. As a parent or guardian, you can help your child by looking out for the signs and symptoms. The eating habits of your athlete and encourage discussions in the home around these factors. Coaches only see your children for a relatively short time in their week's activities. Looking out for these things and flagging to the coaches early will help us help the athlete as part of the Beagles family. I hope this has given you a little insight into the subject of REDS. Do have a read through the accompanying information with this Beagle Bite and catch me, Paul or any of the other coaching team if you'd like further guidance or help.